Hi, this is just a, a very short video for fun. Uh, I've installed a um, Prometheus PCI in my 4000. Uh, I'm running an A3640. Uh, it's got a uh, it's a 50 megahertz O40 because of the quad doubler. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, you'll see the installation of that. Uh, I'm just having a little bit of experiment with just to see if you can run Warp 3D games. And well, you can, but not very quickly and quite glitchy. It's quite amazing to see it actually working. I'm quite shocked that it, it even works at all. You can see it's really jumpy and slow. It might be possible to get it optimised to, to be maybe playable, I don't know, but this is just a very first test. I thought it was funny just to show that to you. Normally you need an O60, um, better still PPC to enjoy the uh, Warp 3D games. Loading is quite slow because at the moment I've had to disable the fast ATA um, software, otherwise I seem to be getting corruption on the hard drives. So obviously you wouldn't want to, want to play Quake like this, but as proof of concept, maybe with some updated libraries, um, HS Math library, it might possibly be able to get something going that you could maybe play. I think AHI is slowing it down as well, so perhaps I could disable AHI and just sound straight out of Pooler and see if that helps. Anyway, just for fun that was. i um, tell you what I'll do, just show you my 24-bit desktop. So having now installed the Prometheus and the drivers, I've now got uh, nice 24-bit uh, icons. I need to try out um, Peter Kay's latest library, this one's a few issues old now, so hopefully the, late, the latest libraries will be a bit faster with the icon loading as well. But there you go, a little update on that project, uh, just for fun really, a little bit of a teaser. Uh, can't do much with the Warp 3D on an O40, but uh, it's cool to see it working. Thanks for watching.